Thorn, get the geese. Where's the retriever when you need one? Thorn, come here. Thorn, get it. Get it. Get it. Thorny wouldn't touch it. There's a bolt stopping it from sliding off. I use the tractor to get it back. So basically. This hydraulic line busted the other day, and now our tractor and baler look like this. Hey, so a long time no see. I had a bunch of requests to come back on and do some more long form videos. So here we go. Um, I'm just gonna bring y'all along for some of our mid morning chores. I've already moved the herd. Uh, we fed the stalkers. Now I'm just going to feed. We have two heifers that look like they got bred out of sink, um, so we've sorted them off and we're keeping a super close eye on them. And we just feed them a little bit of grain every day uh, and we're watching them really close. But Mark's working on that baler, trying to get that cleaned off. It's got a bunch of hydraulic fluid on it. two heifers over here and then on the other side we have our steers which are in um, our finishing pastures so they are being um, finished for our beef program and I'll go check on them after I give these girls a good eye over. Okay so now I'm just trying to figure out where the bottle calves went. They, we recently moved them into this pasture with these two heifers, and so um, I'm not sure where they are, but hopefully they're okay. See all these little beetles? I'm struggling to get my phone to focus on this but um, these are actually dung beetles so really happy to see this it looks like they are multiplying as well so we'll take it also really happy with this grass and how thick it is you can see that the cattle have been eating some of this top bit but look at how much length they're leaving underneath so that's so good and also not to mention the dung beetles so happy with that gonna check back in this these kind of pine trees and see if I see these bottle caps. Y'all go on a little adventure? Phil. What are you doing? 
What are you doing? You're not supposed to be in here. You're supposed to be in the other pasture. Good thing you're cute. You're probably not hungry either because you probably got in with the feeder. Okay. So those calves, they've been weaned. Uh, we just weaned them and um, they're on grain now. But the steers have access to free choice grain, so they probably got into that, but they look fine. They don't look like they've bloated or anything. So I'll get them sorted off tomorrow. They'll be fine for another day. Now we'll go check on Mark and see how he's coming with the baler. I really don't want to help because if any of y'all have ever like blown out a baler with a leaf blower or anything like that, you get covered in dust. Oh my gosh, it's like the itchiest thing. Um, so I'm hoping he's done by the time I get back. Let's see how far Mark got it. Oh, it sounds like he's got the power washer, so. It does look better though. It's actually green now. Why is power washing like the most satisfying thing? my turn to do the inside. It's a little bit dusty. Here's a hitch I lost off of um, the rake yesterday. <laughs> Great, now I'm stuck in the freaking tractor. <sighs> like I can't open the door. Oh, I got it! Thank God, I was about to have to climb out the back window. <gasps> Just in our walk-in freezer right now. I wanted to show you guys, look at how beautiful all of these ribeyes are. Not the best lighting in here. So pretty though. Look at how beautiful that is. So chuck roast. Oh my god. If y'all have not made that chuck roast barbacoa, you have to. It is so good. I'll put a link in the description of the recipe blog. I'm also doing photos for our Father's Day boxes. And let me tell you, in the south, in the summertime, it is so difficult to take pictures of frozen meat because the humidity, it just gets like all of this on here. And you can barely even see the steak. But anyways, this, these are our Father's Day boxes. I have them online too. But you'll get two packs of short ribs, a pack of burger patties, two sirloins, and one premium steak, as well as a sampler thing of our seasoning. So this is where I take our photos. And I'll get going with that because these are getting really frosted up. Also, if you're new here, so these are our beef boxes. So we ship our beef um, to the lower 48, and we ship all this on dry ice. Um, I'm just doing photos right now, so there's no dry ice in there. But they come in these branded boxes, um, and we ship them all over the country. And I think we've already shipped to all of the lower 48, so super exciting. These aren't my best. Uh, I'm struggling with kind of the frosting and the packaging, but I'll go through. I'll pick out the best ones of these, and then I will do, um, I'll put some, I'll edit them a little bit and put them up on the website. Rain is on the way. We need some rain now, so we got all our hay fields cut, so I'm not upset. Uh, now I just want to get the pool fed before I get bored and start pouring. Geese always in the way. Thorn, aren't you supposed to be chasing them? 
planted this is called fixation um, and it's a little bit better for grazing than the crimson but you can see it's long enough that they can get a hold of it better than that I think the common Dutch or whatever it's called um, oh look honeybees they're everywhere There's a carpenter, and there are some dung beetles. Really happy though to see the honeybees. Uh, we normally see a bunch of carpenter, but there's so many of these little honeybees. I'm so happy to see things like when they actually work and you're able to improve pasture. So this is so great. I love like all this soil cover. Next, we just need to get rid of these buttercups, but this clover is definitely helping. You can see how much there's of it because it's keeping this ground covered. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Not the most exciting day, but still just a little bit behind the scenes on uh, kind of what goes on on a normal weekend here. And I'll try to post a little bit more regularly some of these long form videos.